So if you're a big fan of React, you're probably a big fan of JSX. But how can you get JSX working with Vue.js? Stay till the end of the video and you'll find out. All right, so you can see from here, I have my setup already. So like I said, the other day I was talking to somebody, they were saying they thought React was superior than every other JavaScript framework out there and libraries out there. And I said, well, you know, JSX actually works with Vue and they didn't believe it. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and try to give it a shot and get it working. I don't know much about JSX, but I hear this is a pretty simple process. So let's see if we can get this working here and I'll share it with you. So the, the premier way of getting this working is to use the Babel plugin transform dash view dash JSX. And it looks like everything we need is starting here. So I went ahead and created a new app called JS example app. If you don't know how to do this, you can go ahead and install Vue CLI, which it's pretty much an NPM install. It's like NPM install tag G Vue CLI. Once you have that installed to create a new application, you just do Vue init. I did Webpack and then the name of the application. I call it JSX example app. And that went ahead and created this directory we see right here. And then I did an NPM install or yarn install if you prefer. And then install all the dependencies. So that went ahead and created the server for me. So since I already have the server here or the application here, I'm going to go ahead and try to install everything it tells me to do here. So NPM install, I guess we got to install Babel plugin. All right, it says it installed everything. Let's take a look. Okay. And next thing to do is go into your Babel RC file. So I went to have, I have Adam open here on our new application I just created. So I'm gonna go to the Babel. All right, I'm inside our Babel RC file. So it says to go ahead and add a couple of things. So first under the presets, we're gonna go add in ES2015. So that's that. And then under plugins, we're going to go ahead and add in transform view JSX. All right, let's give that a shot. You can kind of see here it's a little cut off, but this is the first component that it starts with. I'm just going to save it here. So now we just have this message. Welcome to your view app. If we go into the app.view, we have this source logo here. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to leave the data here. I'm going to make a comma. I'm going to put my render function here. I'm going to do an H here. So I'll leave the data. And then I'm going to have return. And I'm going to put a div here. And I'm just going to put in hello from JSX. And I'm going to get rid of the template tag completely out of the top. Let's see what happens. Oops, we forgot one thing here. We got to go to div ID equals app so it knows where to go because we that'll be our entry point. So let's go ahead and save it. And let's go ahead and just stop the server and restart it since we made some changes to a few things. All right, so went ahead and opened. We got hi right here, so we know it's working. Let's see if we can put the message in here. So um, let's do this. So the way it works, you may be used to double these double brackets, but we're going to actually do or mustache, but we're going to do single brackets. So this is JSX. Let's do and you have to do this. So let's do this dot message. Hi, welcome to review JS app. All right, perfect. So we know it's talking. We can put it in an H1 tag if we wanted to. Cool, so now we are using, uh, we are definitely using JSX. So let's let's see if we can do a method here. So we're gonna have our methods hash here, and we're gonna have something called clicked, well, pressed. And just for the heck of it, we're gonna put an alert in there that says pressed. 
And it's gonna give me a couple of errors, unexpected token, some ES lint errors, because we have some errors there. And then it also gives me an error here because we forgot to put the comma. So I'm gonna save it there. And so it doesn't like a couple things here. Strings must use single quotes. An extra semicolon. Okay, there it is. So what we can do is we can add a button here. And in this button we'll have, uh, usually in normal view you would have this V on, but since we're using JSX we don't use that. We can do on click, but you actually have to do it with a dash. So we do on dash click equals, and then we can put in this dot pressed. And we'll call press me. Save it. So now we have a button here called press me. If we click it, you can see here's our pressed. So all we did here is instead of having on click, well first, in normal view, you would have something like this, the button, and then you have V on, and then the, the event, and then the name of the method that you can use press, something like this. Um, this of course shorthand, you can put an at, uh, at sign there too for clicked. But since we're using JSX, uh, we have to do on dash click, and then this dot pressed, and then that'll trigger our method press that we have here above. Uh, we can also, if you have a class, uh, I think I believe in, I believe in React, you have to do class name here, but you can actually just do class here. I don't know, we can call it button. And then we have our scoped styles down here. So if I wanted to, I could do like button, I don't know, color red. And now you have red button. So yeah, you, we can definitely do something like that. We don't have to do class name. And like I said before, we don't have to do double, the double curly brackets, just single curly brackets. So there's a lot to do here. I'm not an expert in JSX, but this is kind of neat writing in here because all your JavaScript's in here. Uh, you don't have, to, it's, we're not relying on some of the Vue.js mannerisms or Vue.js ways of doing things because now we can put all our stuff in the template. If I had the right plugins here, I would have the correct syntax highlighting too in Atom, but I don't for JSX. Also, I don't have the template at the top anymore. So that that's definitely different. I'm just writing it all here in this render function and that's the way it works. So thank you for watching. If you like these types of videos, click that subscribe button. That really helps me out. And also click that bell button. Take care.